Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into some NBA action for February the 5th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're getting close to the All-Star break and there's not too many games for Monday. There's only six games on schedule. We'll take a look at four of them. So we're going to get started here. Uh, Dallas and Philadelphia, we will not take a look at. We'll look at the Clippers and the Hornets. Excuse me, the Lakers and the Hornets. So the Lakers come in average stats 3-3 three three over the last six. And the Hornets are dead stats 1-5 over the last six. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games mainly over the line. And the score prediction of 122 to 111 in favor of the Lakers would be an over-the-line score. Most of the time, the line has not yet been set, but we'll take a look at that. We can take a look at that as it gets closer to game time. And the confidence in the prediction is 73%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, the Lakers are at plus 13, steady over the last couple of days, and the Hornets all the way down at the bottom at zero. Um, Head-to-head, you can see that earlier in the year, Back at the end of 2023, December 28th, the Lakers blew out the Hornets by 21 points at home. Um, the stability factor, you can see that the Hornets are plus 24. One of the most stable teams in the league doesn't mean they're good. It just means that they're consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status, which most of the time they are underdogs. And I see the case uh, holding true this time as well with the Lakers winning this game probably by double digits. And let's go with over the line. The Kings and the Cavaliers. The, the Kings come in four and two over the last six average status. Cleveland comes in burning hot five and one uh, over their last six. And both teams are in excellent playoff position in their respective conferences. Sacramento is fifth in the uh, Western Conference, while Cleveland is uh, fourth in the Eastern Conference right now. If you look at the over under, the teams have been trending against on opposite sides of the line. You see three out of the, or four out of the last five under for uh, the Kings whereas two out of the last three and four out of the last six have been over for Cleveland. The score prediction has a higher scoring contest of 122 to 110 in favor of Cleveland, with a high level of confidence of 73% in the prediction. As power ranks indicator, you can see the teams are pretty uh, neck and neck here with Cleveland having a slight edge in that department. Head to head wise, the teams met back on November the 13th, and Sacramento won that one by 12 points at home. That was a very high-scoring game with a total points of 252. If you look at the stability factor, you can see here, let's take a look at what's going on with that. As soon as it loads up, there we go. Both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, coming in at 12 and 11. Um, Cleveland is... Very good at home, 17 and 8. And Sacramento is pretty respectable on the road, though, at 13 and 11. But I do like Cleveland to win this one, and I'm going to pass on the over under bet. Golden State and Brooklyn, neither team's playing well. You can see ice cold up for Golden State, ice cold down for Brooklyn. A combined 4 and uh, 8 over the last 12. If you And both the teams are on the outside looking in as far as the playoff position goes, 11th and 10th in their conferences. Uh, the over-under, you can see the teams have been trending in games uh, mostly over the line over the last couple. But if you go back for, far enough, uh, you can see Brooklyn had three games in a row uh, under. Uh, Brooklyn had three games in a row under the line. Um, if you take a look at the score prediction, 119 to 111 in favor of Brooklyn. Confidence in the prediction that's 68 uh, percent. Take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to game time. Not, I'm not really liking that score as you will see when I make my prediction. Um, on the power ranks indicator, Golden State has been more consistent, not high, but they've been more consistent at plus nine. You can see Brooklyn's more up and down. Brooklyn now at plus five. Head to head wise, the teams met back in December with Golden State winning by four at home in a very high scoring game of 244 points. Even though this is at Brooklyn, um, Golden State is 7 11 at home on the road. I know that's not that great. But Brooklyn's under 500 at home. I just like Golden State better in this one. I think they have the better overall team. I like them to win this one. Uh, maybe four, five, or six point win in a game over the line. The last game we want to look at is the Clippers and the Hawks. The Clippers coming in burning hot. Winners of five out of their last six and eight out of their last ten. 
while Atlanta is just two and four over their last six and five and five over their last ten. The Clippers come in third in the Western Conference, and while Atlanta is on the outside of the playoff picture looking in in the Eastern Conference. If you take a look at the over under, the teams are definitely trending on opposite sides of the line, with the Clippers being involved in games under the line in three out of their last four, and Atlanta involved in games over the line in their last four and four out of their last six. The score prediction has Atlanta by three points at home with confidence in prediction of 70%. Um, in head-to-head -head matchups, you see the teams have not yet met this season. On the power ranks indicator, a decided advantage for the Clippers at plus 25 compared to plus 10. What I'm looking at here is that the Clippers' road record is better at 12-11 than the Hawks' home record of 10-13. and 13. So that's getting me to lean more towards the Clippers in this one. Uh, the stability factor, let's take a look at that quickly. The Clippers more consistent at plus 22 compared to plus 9. They've been pretty consistent all season, mostly an upward trend with this line here, on this graph. So really, I'm looking at this to be a Clippers win. I know that, um, you know, what the score prediction is saying, and I know that Atlanta's at home, but the Clippers are just a better team. They're just a much better team. I don't see that, that the Hawks are going to win this one. I like the Clippers by between 6 and 10 points in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for February the 5th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.